Greetings survivors and friends, same intro, different game because yes, I've seen your comments, I've seen you asking for an update on Renown, and if you missed my previous vid, it's a new game in development looking to fuse chivalry style combat with Rust style survival, building and raiding in a medieval world of knights, peasants and hopefully the odd holy hand grenade. Oh yes, and there will be pies, yes, there will be pies. Anyway, it's been three months and the team have been busy adding lots of new stuff including weapons, shields, heraldry, a very early version of the building system, and catapults! So yeah, I think it's time for a quick update. Oh and of course needless to say, but everything you're going to see here is very early in development and thus subject to change. Okay chaps, well it's good to be back and uh, I know you've been very busy. We have. So perhaps you can tell me what's new for combat since I was here last. We've added a bunch of new weapons uh, as well as added one-handed weapon support and shields. So if I bring out a uh, uh, nice. short spear here. I think I'll actions. go for the function. Go, well, nice. and, and a kite shield, yeah. There you go, oh looking nice. And assuming it's right mouse button to use shields, yeah? That's, That's exactly yep. right. So as you can see, the longer you hold the shield, the harder it is to turn left and right. So it's sort of the disadvantage of holding a shield. Oh, yes. Well, the idea being that you can use the shield just to click to block, right? And you can just parry like normal. Or you can hold to basically brace for, I guess, archery attacks, or it allows you to sort of 1vx or 1v multiple opponents a little bit easier. You can also bash with C. Shield bash? Yes, I was going to ask nice. about that. And that's hold a on, large oh, pile. Hold on, is this PUBG? Where did Fester <laughs> get a pan? It arrived one day in the build and we're like, oh, there's a pan here? And Ellie's like, yeah, I added a pan. Yes, we got a pan and a kitchen knife, so there's, you know, the, all the kitchen supplies you need. And did I see a pitchfork as well? We have, so we've that added is. some uh, peasant weapons. Uh, to th These would be the sort of things that you'd find on the map. So if you imagine, like, you're spawning in, you're a naked, you, you run into a old run-down cottage, you pick up their pitchfork and, and you're off, you know, you've, you've got something to defend yourself with. Get some torches, <laughs> pop down to see Shrek. Exactly. Pole hammer. Ooh, so you that one looks nice. you can smack people from afar. Oh, uh, bastard weapons is another thing. So your classic two-hander and then swap to one-hander. Hit Z. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Right. Oh, hold on. You can kick now. I did yep. just kick. So, so this is something to punish someone that holds their block continuously. Just give us a, give us a kick there. <laughs> No, don't. Could get over yeah, there, if you try Fester, Fester's going work. hard on Killbot, yeah. Stops people just over-relying on that holding system. It's just finished eating dinner. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Yeah, scroll wheel, remember, um... Shadow. Oh, <laughs> oh never mind, eh? I will say, you were fighting at a bit of a disadvantage there, Fester, fighting a man in full plate armor with a kitchen knife. It'll hopefully, hopefully, in theory at least, reduce the KOS, just, you know, instantaneousness of it. Like in Rust, you're basically obliged to KOS. But hopefully in this, it'll be a bit more civilized, in the sense you can at least talk to your person before you kill them. Oh, oh, yeah. Making a bold claims there, sir. Do you have any plans to allow throwing of weapons? We we want to have quite a, quite a range of ranged weapons. Um, mm. We definitely want throwing axes, throwing knives. We One of the things I'm most excited for is a, a sling. We've added uh, weapon and armor damage states, so uh, you have durability to your to your gear. If you imagine um, over time using weapons, they break down and they have to be repaired, and we wanted to have that visually shown. Killing a player will get you quite bloodied, um, and then some nice solid um, flesh hits will also get your weapon nice and, and bloodied up. Can't wait for the cries of, it's just a flesh wound. Most of the things we've added are, are new helmets. Uh, they're still very much up for change as well. Like they're... Do you, do, what, you, you want me to say it, do you? They're... They're... Well, they're, just... they're, 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 they're... Subject to change! Um, up, up to you, I guess, in the sense of like, they will roughly look like that. <laughs> but we'll probably want to improve things, make things better. That's all right. Majority of the work done to the to the, the chest plate at the moment is the all the customization we've added. So as you can see, I'm able to change my pattern and the colors, pick and choose anything that you'd like from the the, the subset of, of categories we have. We want to add to this and, and allow people to make their own. Um, same with the emblem. If you see my shield here, I can set it along and change the various types alongside sort of its scale. Oh, yeah. uh, oh huh? look at that. The final idea behind our customization is we'll have to keep pretty much rough uh, the same 
body shape, right? You can't really have tall and short people and that kind of stuff. But short of that, we want players to be able to customize. Well, yeah, you know, every, everyone gender. will be playing as a dwarf, wouldn't they? With the smallest exactly. hit, hit yeah. bots imaginable and just going for yep. the knees. That's right. Exactly. You know, or yeah. you end up with very tall people who have extra, like really long arms, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, you mean you're not going to make it like Ark? But I believe you're going to be implementing meta-human stuff for the character creation, is that right? That's correct. So the, these faces are our first attempt at um, implementing the meta-human, uh, if the, anyone knows that, from Unreal. Uh, which are the the very extensive customization system they have for characters. Oh, I see something right, in the distance over there. That is the catapult. So this uh -huh. is a, a mallet, which you can use to attack, um, but it's also used for building. So if you left-click, you can bring up the menu. I see. Okay. And yeah. you can, nice pie menu. Yeah. That's right. It's got, got, to be, got to be a pie menu. Um, and it's it's very similar to how I'm sure you, you uh, would be familiar with. Would you like to build a little house? I shall build a classic rough rust one by two. How's that? I'm afraid it'll be a rough renown one by two. Rough yeah. renown, yeah. Ah. Uh, a piece how do I have. destroy a part that I don't want? Uh, you hold press E on it, and then that will uh, that will come up. Okay. Nice to see triangle stuff in there straight away. That's good. And to Sorry. upgrade, it's E. E. E is our okay. E is upgrade. to upgrade. Very nice. So how many building tiers are there? We currently have uh, four uh, going from scaffolding, which is basically just there to plan out the base. Uh, gives you no protection at all. Um, up to uh, stone tier. Uh, we're hoping to add a, another tier in the future, which will sort of be the end game tier, which will be sort of like a cut brick. So I can continue to upgrade this stuff. Oh, yes. And making it a Mock Tudor. Uh, do walls, etc., have a soft side? Currently, not not right now. We're still uh, determining how uh, we want our rating to function. Um, we, we're, we're trying to decide between just outright destruction, or if you have to push through doorways. That's all going to be covered once we enter our um, rating module, creating a sort of a game mode where people will be able to jump in, like two teams attacking each other with. Uh, two different bases, um, and we're going to just be able to quickly mess around with different functions of rating um, and hopefully come up with something that, that works really well. Let's just have a look at the different building parts you've got in at the moment. So you've got windows, doors, U stairs, L stairs, foundation stairs, and uh, what's, a, what's a support? It's like oh. a, like a four, three posts. I'll, I'll build one for you. Oh, here I see. And a... It's like a frame, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's just a little frame there I'll just try right to okay one thing we forgot to cover was fist fighting cover that's that. right it's very much the same it's the same it functions the same way as the the rest of the combat works okay so you've just spawned in or you just decide that this is the way to settle your differences in a gentlemanly that's manner exactly. no, we, we wanted to save the gear our, our clan mates are watching from the sidelines gentlemen's rule don't fight by the catapult five hours later oh no no oh you missed oh got him yeah. all right so Show me this because I want to see oh. this. So this is all very early and still subject to change. Of course, yep. Moving around left and right, you'll be able to aim the, the catapult. Right click okay. to turn on your aiming reticle and then turn it off again. If you want Oh, I see. Oh. And uh, left click to commit. Fire. Yep. Fire. Right. And Excellent. then you can uh, lower it down a little bit. Okay, let me see I'm guessing the right click you will get removed in the future and we'll just there have you go. the detention system basically. Yes, this is this is what this is what we need. Yeah. So it's definitely going to take quite a few hits in in the future to to knock it. Yeah, it's not like we'll just be one hitting everything. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I want to know what you think this latest round of renown work in the comments, please. Just remember, everything you've seen here is very early development stuff. It's far from finished, and I know as before there will be comparison to games like Chivalry and Mordhau. This is intentional. It's not pretending to be anything new in that regard, but rather an attempt to merge that kind of gameplay with the more Rust-like survival and base building genre. What the chaps showed me today was just a small part of the planned features of course, and if you'd like to see a fuller list and maybe even support the project, then I'll leave a link to their Indiegogo campaign in the description, which is actually doing really well right now, and will include quite a few backer reward items, including this rather fetching Frogmouth helm complete with Frog Crest, 
Now, if only there was a pair of boots to go with that. As for an ETA on actually playing, the plans to let backers into a closed alpha combat version in September, with an open beta following on sometime later when a number of other systems are implemented. You can keep up to date with the project by joining their Discord, again, link below, and subscribing to the channel here, of course, as I intend to keep you up to date with future developments as they happen. Join me on Twitch for streams, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content, and you can support the channel directly through Patreon, or by buying some of my merch. Links below. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay medieval. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk.